What's going on? Morning to everybody. Good morning. Yeah, you know, my boy Jared Glant, at Jared Glant, is doing his 100th, 100th show. Good morning, good morning, good morning. He's doing his 100th. He said, man, I'm doing my 100th show today on Young Hustlers. I'm like, bro, I did 80 of those shows with you. What you mean you're doing your 100th? We, we, my man. Well, you know how Jared, I'm just kidding with Jared right now, but you know how Jared, Jared does tip from the whip? I'm doing lover from the rover. Doesn't quite rhyme the same way, but lover from the rover. How's everybody doing? Your wife wants my Range Rover. Okay, well, you know what? Tell her to come over to Miami and we can ride to work together. That's what I'm doing this morning. Hope everybody's doing well today. Uh, real estate market. Somebody asked me how's the real estate market in Clearwater. Looking kind of sweet. Looking a little sweet. Got a couple of opportunities over there. There's so much going on in real estate right now. It's crazy. And I want to apologize to each and every one of you because I haven't been as frequent as I would like to be. Uh, had my hands full with, let's see what we would say. Uh, oh, my man, Ken Wall, CEO underscore CSI. By the way, I got to talk to you today, dude, about DigiTV at DigiTV. Um, I am in Miami, Florida this morning on my way to the Workola, on my way to Opportunity, on my way to express myself. And while I was kidding a bit about Lover from the Rover, or would it be Lover from the Rover? <laughs> I guess it would be Lover from the Rover. It would sound better. Um, you know what, I learned something in the last three or four or five days, unbelievable lesson that I've had. I was speaking last night at Ally Bank, great, great venue over at the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Ritz Hotel here in Miami South Beach, Ally Bank, which is a big funder, it's a huge bank first of all, and number two, it also provides auto dealers with financing and for both their customers and their inventory. And I was doing this speech last night there, I don't know if any of you got a chance to see it, on leadership. What is leadership? And it really it really became aware to me how important it is to, to be nice while you're leading. You know, you don't have to be mean while you're leading. I've been a bit gruff over my years, using more force probably than necessary. You know, there's always a more creative way to talk to people. And, and I haven't always used that. I, I've used it with customers, <clears throat> but I haven't always used it with people around me, friends. I tend to push people really hard, challenge them first. And I had a great experience the last couple days with somebody that showed me another way to do things. Like to do it in a way that's uh, more productive, probably. More embraceive, less challenging. So that's awesome, right? That's awesome, man. What, what, if, what if you could figure out a more creative way to do things with people? Like I was in a restaurant, or not a restaurant, but Starbucks, just yesterday morning, actually, while I was in Clearwater. A less abrasive grant. I don't know, man. Maybe it won't last, okay? Um, Arabarizing my materials for the Arab world would be a good idea. I like that. So, <clears throat> I was in a Starbucks and this guy starts banging, like, like literally yelling at the barista saying, you're not paying attention to me. I've been sitting here for 15 minutes, which was not true because I had been there the full 15 minutes, asking for help. And I just went over there, touched him on the elbow, and I'm like, because he was asking for a key to the restroom, I'm like, hey, there's somebody in the restroom, but you know what, the ladies is open. Maybe what you do, sometimes what I do is I just go in the ladies. And I don't know if that's right or wrong, but I do know it would solve your problem. And it calmed things down just a little bit. This guy was angry. In the past, I would have said, dude, knock it off, you know? You don't need to talk to people like that. 
which would have probably just inflamed the situation anymore. So one of the commitments I'm making this week, I don't know what your commitment is for today, just for today, the next 24 hours, I am going to step a second, I'm going to take an extra second to respond to people and add love, add love and admiration and uh, a little bit of care in the conversation. I can always go back to challenging if that doesn't work, I guess, because I, I pretty much got that one in my is my go-to tool. Hope everybody's doing well this morning, man. Practice a little love today. Now, if nobody notices, if nobody notices you're doing it, you're probably not doing enough of it. I would expect that somebody would be like, man, that's really nice you said that, Grant. That's what I always go for. I go for creating an effect big enough that it's noticed. Because every one of you need to get noticed today. Get noticed for something. Okay? You're going to get noticed for being exceptional or are you going to get unnoticed for being average? You're going to get noticed for being exceptional today or are you going to get noticed for... Because I guarantee you they're all making, they're all making the example. They're walking away saying, <clears throat> my Range Rover is white. White on white. If I could have got the seats whiter, I would have. I wish they did that actually. I wish they did a pure white seat like they do in a Rolls. Yeah, are you going to be known today for being exceptional or average because your clients, the people you're engaging with, your friends, your relatives, your customers, they're all deciding, Dude, that guy's just that guy's just average. They might not be saying that to you, but by their actions, they're, they're categorizing you. They're putting you in an inventory, exceptional or average, or bad. Tomorrow I'm flying to Denver, Colorado. I'm going to be uh, doing a presentation for 10X Success Summit. It's called the 10X Success Summit. If you can get to Denver tomorrow, awesome, awesome event. And just before that, I think we are trying to coordinate uh, me doing something with the Keller Williams people in the Denver market. So tomorrow morning I fly to... <laughs> Denver. Check this out. Give you guys a little background story. Relativity Media, one of the most successful, this is not known by the way, totally privy to you, my friends on Periscopa. Relativity Media uh, just did a reel on me and my wife and they're out pitching in the market. The name of the show is going to be called Life According to Grant. <laughs> And they're pitching it to the networks and the real, I can't show you the real. We saw it last night. I watched it twice. Dude, it is freaking funny. Life according to the G-Dog, to the G-Man, to your Uncle G, to Granty Pooh. I would love to come to Switzerland. Hey, where are you guys, where, where are you guys this morning? Life according to Grant, huh? Where are you guys? Where is you? Where is you located? Life according to the G-Dog. Texas, what's up? Daytona. Man, I own a piece of property in Daytona. I love that market. Sarasota, Florida, Oklahoma City, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Man, I got to get back up to Pennsylvania. I hadn't been there in years. Tucson. Used to own 2,200 apartments in Tucson. I gave 40 units away to a charity at the end of, uh, 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 of the collapse of Ola. Missouri, Doral, West Palm Beach is in the house. Nolens, Santa Clara, Los Angeles, Naples, Orlando, Maryland. Come on back to Houston. Dude, I haven't been, what was I in Houston a year and a half ago doing a gig there? So look, a couple things I want you guys to know. Appreciate all of you joining me. Siberia's here? Wow, that's awesome. Uh-oh, everybody's stacking up behind me. Why is everybody getting all jacked up? Don't get all jacked up. I'm trying my love thing. Miami and my neighbor, my neighborhood in Miami. Hey, hope everybody's doing well this morning. Look, be exceptional today or be average. Those are your choices. Exceptional or average. Average is bad. Let's face it. I, I didn't do a bad job. That's terrible. You either did an exceptional job or you did not. Road rage with a smile. 
you either do an exceptional job or you did a garbage job, folks. Let's face it, okay? Don't, don't take the in-between space. You're either really nice to somebody or you're not nice. So let's try the nice, nice today. Let's try to, you know, the average thing is dull. Somebody said it's dull. And also, dude, it just doesn't work. You don't wake up in the morning to be mediocre, right? No way you do, okay? Am I international? Uh, I think so. We have offices in Russia, Mexico. I'm on my way to Bogota Monday. Let me give you my calendar in case you guys are in any of these cities. Denver tomorrow. Bogota, Colombia Monday. Las Vegas twice before the end of the year. New York twice before the end of the year. Atlanta. What else am I doing? Another gig in Miami. And, look, if you have a church, your church, regardless of your religion, I want to come talk to your church about prosperity and family and leadership and what it takes to get everybody doing well in the family. You know, this presentation I did last night on leadership, I said leadership is not something you do at the office. Leadership is something you do in your life. And the people at Ally Bank, if you guys, Muslims, I'd speak to Muslims, okay? So if you have a church, your kids are at school, you're in a college, your kids are graduating from college, they need a speaker. I want to come speak to the college, to your kid's college, to your high school, kid's high school, or your church. Get your community together. It doesn't matter to me what your religion is. Muslim, Baptist, uh, all denominations welcome. Whatever you are, I want to come speak to your church. You guys either do something on a Saturday night or a Sunday. Those are days typically that I'm not out on the road. I'll fly up, get all your congregation together. I'd love to come in and talk about the value and importance of prosperity to the congregation. I would love to come speak to, to you guys. Is it Janice? I love your products. Your products are awesome. J-E-U-N-E-S-S-E, -S -S -E, I think. Janice? Janice? I don't think you're, I think, I think everybody is born with leadership skills, by the way. I think everybody is born a leader, you know? Now, the question is, through, throughout your life, are you going to operate like a, Janice, Janice, yeah. Are you going to operate like a leader? Kansas City, I'd love to come to Kansas City. Altamonte Springs, Florida. Is that where uh, uh, Janice is? Boss shout out. Just sold my $40 million investment book. That's awesome. Hey, how have I helped you guys? Anybody had success with any of my material? 10X rules, seller be sold, closer survival guide, secrets to closing the sale, millionsonthephone.com. I'd love to come see the storm chasers. Hate, hate Lee. Let's do it, brother. Lee hate. What's up, brother? John East, John S, John S. Cardone University blew you up. Grant Cardone Sales Training University. Grant Cardone Sales Training University. Cardone University is an online platform to teach you how to become a professional at sales, marketing, promotion, and closing more business. Uh, I'm not going to tell the Rolls story for a little while. There's a story that, that I have not told anybody about the Rolls Royce. And I can't yet tell you the story. But at some point in the future, I will. It's going to blow you away. Why I was driving a Rolls and why I'm not driving one today. What's happening today? We... 12 o'clock today. Put it on your calendar. 12 p.m. today, me and Jared are doing our 100th episode of Young Hustlers. 100th episode of Young Hustlers. You can find that at Grant Cardone TV. I've listened to the 10X rule. Who is saying this? Let's see. My friend Big Arms says, I've listened to the 10X rule at least 50 times. That program is awesome, man. If you, if you don't have the 10X rule on audio, go to grantcardone.com. You get 40% off right now. Use the code Mr. Black. Le Captain Jack, he says there's 4,000 people at the Orlando Hotel. Dude, I'd love to come talk to 4,000 people. Tell me when, tell me where, tell me how to get there. 
Am I sitting in the middle seat of my plane? Can you repeat that? I, 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 missed, I missed the message. Let me see, man. I'm trying to get up. I'm going to stop in here and get a cook, 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 cook. Oh, no, I can't. Everybody's full this morning. Okay, I'll have somebody pick something up for me. A mastermind event in Orlando. Hey, can you reach out to my office today about the mastermind event in Orlando? 310-777-0255. 310-777-0255. I'd be happy to respond. Chapter 22 on audio, audible.com version of 10X rule. Okay, awesome. Man, these, these questions go so many problems. Audio programs are my, my breakfast. Yeah, man, I, I'm going to tell you right now, of all the products that I've created, my webcasts, those live webcasts are three and four hours long. You can download to your phone. If you go to grantcardone.com and go to uh, webcasts, the little button at the top, webcasts, or audio, you're going to see some programs there that are just, one, they're inexpensive, and number two, they're freaking phenomenal programs. Uh, my number, my phone number at the office, 310-777-0255. 310-777-0255. I closed $2 million deal yesterday using 10X. Awesome. Awesome. You guys should have this material downloaded to your phone so you're listening to it every day. You're making a big mistake of uh, jumping around to different authors. You can do that if you want to, but I mean, if you really want to understand material and you're listening, let's say you're doing Seth Godin right now, just consume Seth. Do everything Seth does right now, right? Listen to all his programs. If you're listening to somebody else, man, just like if you love what that guy does, if you really, really love it and you're getting benefit from it, just immerse yourself in that guy or gal till you really understand the way they're thinking. You might decide... After you listen to everything they do, they're like, you know, this guy isn't for me. Or maybe you outgrow that person. Uh, we need to raise funds for my Oregon, Chicago. Let's do it, buddy. Let's do it. I'll help you. Uncle G, the mentor, sticking with you. Yeah, look, if you're digging on any of my material, maybe you did Sell or Be Sold, go to the next program. If you did Secrets to Closing the Sale, go to the next program. Uh, and and may, maybe at the most you're listening to two guys. You know, and you're and, and hopefully those two guys have something in common with the way they think or act or operate. Maybe one of them, one of them's doing spirituality and the other guy's doing, you know, talking about how to handle material things. The spiritual is really important to me. I, I don't know how many of you know this, but spiritual spirituality is more important to me than anything. The number one most important thing to me. If my spiritual condition is good. Everything else is going to be good. And if my spiritual condition is, is in good shape and the rest of my stuff isn't happening, something's probably out. Something's probably really out with my spirituality. There's no reason everything shouldn't be clicking. You know, I could be a spiritual guy and not know how to read anything. If I can't learn, if I can't learn, I can't read I don't like to read. If you don't like to read, it's because you have some earlier misunderstandings about words. And 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 the things that you don't like to do, I, I assure you, you have a misunderstanding. You should you should like doing most things. Uh, somebody asked me to talk about Scientology. Yeah, that's really something you should read about. You know, if you go to Scientology.org. You can find all the books there. It's helped me unbelievably amount of uh, unbelievable amounts. It's helped me in my personal life. It's helped me in my personal, spiritual, emotional, mental life. It's gotten rid of a bunch of stuff that were holding me back. Uh, and it's also helped me in my business because they have a bunch of practical, very practical ways to measure and make decisions. It's def definitely helped me as a leader. And I can do that and not give up the other things I believe in. So you don't have to follow that. You need to follow something, though. You guys need to follow something, man. What do you believe in? What do you stand for? You know? What are you using? What are you using right now today to get you down the field, man? I need a book. I need a playbook. I need some kind of play, 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 playbook. Where are you going? Where are you going? Whether you're going to use Jesus or Buddha 
what do you, where are you going? Okay, I very much believe in Jesus. I also believe that Buddha existed. A lot of people believe, very few people do anything. I know people go to church on Sundays, talk about their church for an hour, and then spend the other 167 hours of the week doing nothing. That's not my religion. And that's got nothing to do with the religion. That's got something to do with the person. There's no way I'm going to practice something for 45 minutes and think that it's going to influence my life the other 167 hours. I need to be doing something every day, every hour, like practicing the things I believe in. Simple, simple things. I don't even need to do complicated things. 10X Super Life. What an awesome program. It's at 10xeverything.com. You guys, if you haven't done that program, crazy, crazy program. 10xeverything.com. Awesome program for taking your whole life to monster 10x levels. So you see, there's an example of a book that became an audio program that became a webcast. So it, it, it turned into something much bigger than just one book. All right, you guys are great. You're awesome. I'm going to go to my office this morning. I'm going to kick it hard today. I got people coming to my office. We have a show at 12, live show. Um, what's it called? Young Hustlers. Young Hustlers, man. Appreciate all your comments. If I haven't responded to you this morning, I apologize. Here's the deal. If you got so much hustle... If you got so much hustle that you don't have time for hate and criticism, I'm your guy. I'll be I'll be I'll be that uncle, the Uncle G, call me Uncle G. I'll be the uncle you never had. You know, I, I tell this story all the time. My dad died when I was ten, and I thought maybe one of the uncles would step up, you know, and take a little interest in in a little nephew. Granty poo, but they didn't. And I told my mom one day, I said, You know what? When I grow up, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna do something big, dude. I'm gonna become freaking ma massive successful. And when I do, I'm gonna help other people. So maybe you, maybe you had an uncle that didn't really pay attention to you. Maybe your dad didn't pay attention to you. Maybe, maybe your mom paid too much attention to you. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you just didn't get the direction you needed. Okay. I'll be your guy. I'll be your guy if you want me to be. I'll be your buddy, your friend, your mentor. I just want to help you. But here's what you got to do. You got to have so much hustle that you don't have time for hate. You spend one second in hate, criticism, or gossip, you're not hustling. You spend one second. The one second you spend in hate, criticism, or gossip, just remember this today. Maybe tweet it out to me. You tweet it out to me, and I'll retweet it. i tell you what I'll do. You, re you tweet it out, and I'll follow you on Twitter. If you have one second for hate, criticism, or gossip, you ain't hustling. And add my name at Grant Cardone on Twitter so I can find it. All right, you guys be awesome today. Be great. I love each and every one of you. If I can ever help you, I'm there for you. If you ever see me on the street and you want to do a selfie, make sure, no matter what I'm doing, make sure you interrupt me and come grab a selfie. It would be my honor to get a photo with you. Be great.